Okay. So, I have this little sheet to remind us of our birdie story for when we're starting to stitch. It's kind of tricky to learn all that you need to learn. So, we have our supplies. Let's see. Yarn, birdie, needle. Okay. And then it says bite the worm near the head. So you don't want it getting tangled by putting it in the middle. That's tricky. And then we're going to fly birdie three through that little tree hole, the breezy tree hole. And then pull the worm all the way through. See if it's stuck like that. It's not done yet. Oh, there it comes. And then we're going to let birdie fly away to somewhere where we don't lose birdie. <laughs> okay. Now, on the other side, We have how to secure our needle to the yarn, or the yarn to the needle. Okay, J, X, short piece under, pop it through the teardrop, pull like shoe -like laces. Now we're going to flip to the other side, start over on the right this side, J, X, Pop through the teardrop, and then scoop our pencil towards the end. Come here, pretzel. And we want to keep the pet pretzel loose, okay? Because then it will cling to our burlap and not get away. Now, if you were going to plant a seed, say this is my soil, I have to put my my seed underneath the soil and then grow the plant as tall as it can grow. Oh, that's a tall plant. And then underneath it's like a little root. Okay? So it goes plant it under and it starts to grow up towards the sky and get the root right under the ground. Okay? So I'm going to plant it under the burlap. I don't go down. Plants don't grow down. They're not going growing towards the molten lava in the earth. They're growing towards the sun. So up. It's growing, growing, growing. And it is not going to stop growing. We want a tall plant. Here we go. Keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. And oh, look now we have a cute little root back there. Once we do that, I have lots of stories to help you remember stitching. A lot of stories. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to the ocean instead. We're done with planting seeds. Okay, we're going to pinch and make a wave in the ocean. And the dolphin loves darting through the wave. Okay, so it's going to push through. We're going to do a big stitch so you can see it well. And jump up. Pinch, swim through, jump dolphin, jump, dolphins like to jump in the air and pull, make our, our wave, we have to have a wave for our dolphin to swim through, that's so fun for them. And pull, or you could simplify what you're saying to yourself, pinch. Push, pull, pinch, push, pull. I wanted to do a little baby pinch here. So we're at the corner here. And I'm going to turn and I'm going to make another straight line. Pinch, push, pull. If this gets too easy for you, <laughs> it's hard at first, believe me, then you can scoop down, scoop up, and it, it pinches it for you, and pull, scoop, and pull, or you could stick to pinch, push, pull. You'll figure out which, which way your hand feels the best, so that is my way that I like to stitch that feels the very best to me. Remember our dolphin wave is 
swim through the wave and jump up in the air, do a trick. We're gonna turn straight. I think I put that piece of tape in the right place, I hope so. Pinch, push, pull. And then, here's a little tricky part here. After all the dolphins trick, the dolphin's gonna go rest down under the ocean here. So that's good. Let me go check out the coral or something. So I'm gonna go down. And then we have to make a little baby. Let's face it this way so you can see. A little baby J. Oh, it's curling on me. J X through the teardrop, just like the other knot. Remember that. And then look, I'm gonna scoot this pretzel down towards the burlap so it's nice and neat. If it didn't work the first time, you can do it again. J X through the teardrop. Down. Sometimes if you do your knots really tight, they kind of don't work as well as you want them to. So, there we go. And then, of course, you can't hang on to this forever. You're going to make it match this other little root shape. And snip. And you have two. Looks like all the roots are under the ground, which makes this top part look neat. The back part looks a little messy, but nobody looks at that. So that is the way to go.